Just got done with practice. It was fun. It's exactly what I was not thinking of. Wait. Hold on. That feels better. Always stay comfortable. Got the old motocross jersey out. I don't know if I'm gonna wear that just yet. Track wise, nice, tacky. It was a little, not what I was expecting, but it was nice. A little more enduro than going downhill. Uh, it was nice to get a practice in because if I would have not got a practice in, it would probably slowed me down. But I see what I have to, what I'm coming up against. So it looks like there's a, just like the marathon, there's a lot of dedicated riders out here. Over there, a lot of dedicated runners. So if it goes like any other day, I'll be right in the middle. This will be a long video. We'll do this kind of like what I did with the half marathon. I'll strap on the GoPro and then I think Shanna is supposed to be out here so I'll give her this camera and I'll try and uh, coordinate the time so it'll be like one nice fluent video. Free race ritual. Gallon of water. One thing I forgot to mention is that there's some really cool people jumping like this little this little ramp. Like thread the needle through the drop. Like I was like, I eyed it up a couple times. I was like, no. Got some kids jumping over here. Bad spot. <laughs> oh, oh shit, sorry. Oh. Yeah, just... Watch out, brother! Not only are we watching the guys, uh, the kids jump. Next one! We got all these guys with cameras. I actually forgot to grab my packet. Can I pick up my packet? It's an alien. We have a few people talking. They are quiet. They are talking. And uh, Shanna just showed up and I asked her if she can uh, record for me tomorrow. There she is. First debut of being on this channel. We are getting ready to watch a film that they made. They did just finish a jumping session, which is pretty cool. I'm not a huge jumper. For some reason when I jump, I don't go far. <laughs> that nice ambience going on Looks like you guys are already watching films. All right, let's do it. Beautiful morning here in Hard Rock. I was gonna wear the white jersey, but I left it outside 
and got wet. So I'll be sporting the black jersey with dig deep on there. Got the GoPro up there. Shanna's walking all slow. That's why you get a bike. <laughs> got Jermaine here. She's the uh, race coordinator. Co-coordinator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Co-coordinator. Yes. Uh, and this is our home. Yes. Res Duro, second Woo! annual. My first time here. So I was here yesterday and the tracks were really nice. Wanna say hi? Hi. Good morning everybody. Welcome to Res second annual Res Duro here in Hard Rock, Arizona on the Navajo Nation. Alrighty. Good morning. We are just about to get ready. I'm a volunteer with Res Duro. I am going to show you my sweet swag. I got this really nice shirt. We got a hydro flask. We got breakfast burritos this morning. Um, yeah, weather's been perfect. Heard coyotes last night. We camped out here. We brought our rinse kit. First time I have set up my tent in maybe over three years since the pandemic. So today's like my very first, or last night was my very first camping experience. So um, there's several trails. First timer as a volunteer at an event like this. I really don't know the lingo, don't know the terminology, but I know they pointed me in this direction to float trail. So I'll be staged over there with my son and another volunteer. Um, yeah, pretty excited. And I brought my son along with me, so he's excited for this event. He's already got a list of mountain bikes he wants. Well, not lists. Cool. He has a mountain bike list on his Nick's must buy for Zenium kind of thing. This is not my vlog, but I'm gonna make it into my vlog. I'm just trying to get used to figuring out how to use this um, with the stabilizer or the tripod, but okay. I gotta go. Yeah, so not only does not only our traditional ceremony, but um, we have also, uh, for the last Sundance, uh, following the Sundance way of life, um, which is uh, originally a Lakota ceremony. So we've been privileged and happy um, to learn in those ways as well. And Marvin is somewhere. I wish he was here. <laughs> Oh, they're coming. Go over there. We can go back there. Oh, they're go down. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I think I had a time rushing. Thank you for volunteering. You got the good spot with the tree. <laughs> oh, there's another person down there. We are at the end of flow trail flow. and we get the best of the livestock the animals the sheep I think this is pretty cool because the host family they all live around here and they all support each other in this event for everybody our cadet junior ROTC from Pima oh there's more sheep Oh, look at the rest dogs. Yeah, throw really some dirt on it. No, literally. Yeah, yeah. Like actually. <laughs> hard rock on it. Ready? Hey, oh, so hard rock there you go. <laughs> Sometimes you can like, eat a little bit more. Hey. Hey. And settle up the horse. Settle up the horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, horse transfer. <laughs> 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 good for settle up the horse. Yeah, it's right. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Great job. That's intense. <laughs> Like a flat tire. If not. Oh yeah. That sucks. <laughs> oh, did it just start at the beginning of the trail? I hit a rock. <gasps> right at the beginning of fucking pop dude. Oh. Right there. You, you wanna scoot over real quick? You can see it right there. You wanna scoot over real quick? Oh. Yes.
The cadet was like, there's no more people. And I was like, oh, okay. If you find sunglasses, he had these in his hands. Handed it over. He said it was at the turn with a whole bunch of bumps. So we found sunglasses. Oh, they look pretty nice. Might have to snag these. Take them home. Oh shoot. Something happened to my phone. Okay. Guess that's it. We are done with Flow Trail. Now to finishing up on Sheephead Trail, which sounds pretty technical. Zen, can you pick up this trash right here? Right here. Thank you. Oh, ew, it's sticky. It's tape. Volunteering a bike event is pretty easy. You want, they do this next year, highly suggest you sign up. They have nice swag. They feed you. Camping in good old hard rock. First timer for me. Whew. But I think next year, if they put this on, I'm gonna put up my dig deep um, canopy and do that. Whew, this incline is good. It's been a while since I've been on reg trails like this. It's always nice, different than city trails for sure. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. Thank you. How'd it go? Messed up one spot. Almost <laughs> fell off to the left. Oh dang! Shout out to Rinse Kit. Got order for Shannon Yazi. Dang, that's huge. Oh, I'm fun. Do they give you like ranch or ketchup? No. Should. Oh, I might have used that as each bike.
Oh, you found it. One of the cadets did. One of the ROTC kids. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Just finished with the race. Lost my shades for a bit, but Shanna found them. Gonna turn in my transponder. My bracelet. What's up? Official thoughts of this race. Doing everything from basketball tournaments, motocross, desert racing, that work series, uh, full marathons, ultra marathons, even the uh, MBAA over in Sunrise. I have to say, this race, the Resenduro, it was a lot of fun. Uh, last night, just the atmosphere alone was just really fun to be around. And then not only that, being at these little stages, waiting around, chatting with people, it was just like really humble. And then to add on top of that is the, uh, the trail was really nice. It was really, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a little more rock, but the sand was nice and sticky. It wasn't too uh, sandy. It did start to dry out, which was nice. Last night when I uh, did a practice run, it was a little too muddy. It was raining when I, was, when I got here. And the mud started getting stuck in my cleats, so I couldn't clip in as well. But for today, the sun's out and it started drying up so it didn't stick to my cleats. It actually started clipping in, but every now and then when I got to a rocky section, the, uh, my clipless would pop off. So it wasn't, too be wasn't the best, but it was fun. It was some uh, really, really nice trail. Team Cat. Um, I also wanted to acknowledge our sponsors so if you all were not aware, we've got at least over 25 sponsors this year for Resduro. That is tremendous. And so we also would like to thank all of our sponsors that were able to come out. We do have some sponsors here on site that are set up, as you can see these canopies. That was a huge part and attribution to Dirt Tech Trail. Um, Dirt Tech Trail is coming from Arkansas. So they came out when we had our trail week uh, a couple of weeks ago. So we would like to give them a huge shout out. Um, we also have, through Specialize, not only the film, they help um, um, fund the film, Specialized Soil Search also contributed to Resdoro. So we'd like to give a huge shout out to Specialized and Soil Search. Um, Fani is somewhere out here. Yeah, Fani and Specialized for um, helping to get things um, moving here for the uh, Resdoro. Getting ready to head out. Still have some stuff to pack up. Truck's a little messy. I would stay around for the awards, but I'm getting a little tired. So 
a long drive from Hard Rock all the way to Navajo Mountain. So hopefully I can make it back over there without getting tired. I'm surprised allergies has not hit me too hard. But hopefully the gear is nice and dry by now. And that does it for the Hard Rock Res Duro. It was fun. This place was awesome. The people was amazing. Even the coordinators here was a fun experience to talk with. I wish I would have got a little more uh, videos of them. But now, mountain bike race is over. Still trying to think if I should do the 100 mile race from Flagstaff to Grand Canyon. We will see. We will see. But I will catch you in the next one.